China has chosen to overreact and use the speaker's visit as a pretext to increase provocative military activity in and around the Taiwan Strait. We will conduct standard air and maritime transits through the Taiwan Strait in the next few weeks, consistent again with our long-standing approach to defending freedom of the seas and international law. And we will take further steps to demonstrate our commitment to the security of our allies in the region. Overnight, People's Republic of China launched an estimated 11 ballistic missiles towards Taiwan, which impacted to the northeast, the east, and southeast of the island. We condemn these actions, which are irresponsible and at odds with our long-standing goal of maintaining peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait and in the region. China has chosen to overreact and use the speaker's visit as a pretext to increase provocative military activity in and around the Taiwan Strait. The United States is prepared for what Beijing chooses to do. We will not seek, nor do we want, a crisis. At the same time, we will not be deterred from operating in the seas and the skies of the Western Pacific, consistent with international law, as we have for decades, supporting Taiwan and defending a free and open Indo-Pacific. To that end, Secretary Austin today is directed that the aircraft carrier USS Ronald Reagan and the ships in her strike group will remain on station in the general area to monitor the situation. We will conduct standard air and maritime transits through the Taiwan Strait in the next few weeks, consistent again with our long-standing approach to defending freedom of the seas and international law. And we will take further steps to demonstrate our commitment to the security of our allies in the region. And that includes Japan. Beijing's actions are of concern to Taiwan, to us, to partners around the world. You probably saw the G7 yesterday rejected Beijing's attempt to coerce and intimidate Taiwan, which is a leading democracy. The nations of ASEAN also released a statement overnight about the importance of de-escalating tensions in the Taiwan Strait. And today, the Japanese government reported that five PRC missiles landed in their exclusive economic zone, noting their grave concern. Another example of how China's actions are undermining peace and security in the region. And we're going to continue to communicate, communicate closely with our partners around the world, which we have demonstrated over and over again is a strength of this administration. Beijing's provocative actions are a significant escalation in its long-standing attempt to change the status quo. The United States will be resolute, but also steady and responsible. We do not believe it is in our interest, Taiwan's interest, the region's interest, to allow tensions to escalate further.